Welcome back to the stratosphere. Let's take her for a spin. But first, a little finishing touch. I actually bought this for the Ducati, I think. I like it. Yeah, so I fully intended to take it out for a test run this morning, but things got on top of me, so it's still here. And um, I think I should do some pre-flight checks. Only the standard stuff, oil and water, that kind of thing. Um, but it's a good job I opened it up again because, uh, yeah, I'd put those in there, hadn't I? Don't want to be liberally distributing those down the road. These are the bolts for the uh, the side covers that go in uh, once we're fully uh, once we're fully happy with it all, and um, we button it up so they cover all that stuff up and protect it a little bit. So I'm somewhat ashamed to admit that I had to ask Mikey where I check the water and uh, where I fill it up because I was looking down the front end where the radiator is. Silly old me. Um, yeah, there it is, a big tea kettle in the corner. And the dipstick is down there, not the easiest place to get to. It's a bit of a fiddle because it's at an angle, uh, trying to peel it out of there. But uh, yeah, let's check all that. Yep. Oil's good, water was we good. We are good to rock and roll. I shall see you on the morrow. And there's a couple of good reasons for waiting till tomorrow. Uh, first of all, I've had a perno, uh, a recar, in fact. And uh, secondly, it's 102 degrees out there, and it's not going to be comfortable for anyone. Oh, by the way, did you notice those up there? Yeah, um, they did that. They peeled off. Real shame, because they're really cool. I like them anyway. Well, it'd be rude not to uh, button it down properly. So, what I've been doing, putting all those protective covers in place, which might have been an idea before I bought it back from Phoenix. Just saying. I see some extra mesh protection in the future. Failed to get out in it this morning again. Yes, went out for dinner last night for a friend's birthday. Probably got a little too much to drink. So, uh, not gonna happen tomorrow either. Anyway, on a totally different subject, I don't know if you follow me on Facebook or Tink on Facebook uh, or not, but I posted up some pictures the other day of a marvelous local collection of cars, including two, not one, but two Lolas, uh, Can-Am cars, fantastic. Um, 200 and 40 mile an hour capable, I think. Anyway, um, really interesting guy, an amazing house. I want to show you the house. Well, not the actual house, obviously. But let's imagine this is a very big house. Yeah, very big house. Um, I, I don't know how big the house was. We didn't get to go in that. Anyway, um, garage here, garage here. And we're talking big garages. I mean, like triple garages. And um, then another parking area here with another garage here. And then way down over there, workshop garage, this big. Yeah, how cool is that? Wow. Anyway, fascinating guy. Uh, drove Spice in the 80s at uh, the Le Mans, 24 hours. And um, Daytona, 24 hours, and lots of other extraordinary races. Fascinating lunch. Don't often get time for lunch. I have a day job and then I do all this stuff in the evenings. Okay, we're ready to go for the test drive. I haven't got a camera in here because um, I'm just going down to the shops or not, depending on how it goes, honestly. Well, we made it to the shops without incident. Um, no nasty noises yet. Let's see if we make it back home. <laughs> down the hill, no idea how fast I'm going because the speedo still doesn't work, so um, yeah, all looking good. Well, guess what? Yeah, we got pulled over. Uh, we just got pulled over by the uh, friendly local constabulary because we were going a little bit quick. So we're now uh, crawling up the road and he called in a few of his mates because they wanted to see what the car looked like. 
Pum, pum, pum. So yes, uh, welcome to Slow Donor. Um, first time out, get a warning ticket. Um, quite funny actually, he'd radioed ahead because he didn't think he was going to be able to catch me. So he had quite a little party with um, other cops turning up to see what the car looked like. Um, all good fun. Yeah, anyway, yes, uh, temperatures and oil pressures and things all behave themselves. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the driver, not so much. I gave the nice officer a card. So hopefully he'll be uh, subscribing to the channel. Watch my other lunacy. It all held together. We had one little squeak um, from a, I guess, slightly loose belt. So a little Stuff bit more. This belt conditioner and uh, see if I can't tighten them up a little bit it's, more. It's uh, hard to get to adjustment bolts. On that note, we'll call it a day. I think we got in enough trouble for one day. So as usual, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, do give the video the thumbs up if you thought it was any good and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos that are going on. And of course, watch my lunacy.